Dobb. The Republican senator joins us now exclusively from Washington, D.C. Senator, thank you for joining us on New Day this morning. Good morning. It's good to join you. Of course, we're going to talk Obamacare. Of course, we're going to talk about what your brothers and sisters in D.C. will do to forward the budget and debt work that we need done here in America. But first, let's go abroad. The situation in Iran, specifically the fate of Pastor Saeed Abedini, very important to you. Quickly, tell us why and what are you asking for? Well, Pastor Saeed Abedini is an American. He was born in Iran, but, but he and his wife and two small children live in Idaho. And a little over a year ago, he was back in Iran building an orphanage, and he was sentenced to eight years in prison for simply preaching his Christian faith. And he was originally sentenced to the Evan prison, which is a horrible, horrible prison. Two weeks ago, Iran transferred him to an even worse prison, a prison called Rajai Sher. It's, it's their death row. It's where they put the very worst people. They did it on the 34th anniversary of the date that Iran took Americans hostage. It's what they call Death to America Day. And, and Pastor Abedini right now is suffering torture and imprisonment simply for preaching his faith. It, it's wrong. And a bipartisan group of senators have called on President Obama to continue pressuring Iran to release Pastor Abedini. President Obama raised it once with Iran's president, but we believe the president needs to keep raising it. It's unacceptable for an American to be thrown in prison just for preaching his Christian faith. And the issue then becomes, well, where do you make it as a priority? Of course, it's terrible. Robert Levinson, we know, uh, we believe is held by them. We believe there's former military held by them. Uh, these are all terrible. They have to change. But don't you also have to think about where you use it in leverage of such a delicate discussion? Well, I think it is highly relevant uh, to, to the spin we're hearing that this new president in Iran is a, quote, so-called moderate uh, because he uses Twitter and, 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 and is trying to communicate with the media. When you transfer an American pastor to a, a hellhole of a prison on the anniversary of their death to America Day, that is meant to be a thumb in the eye. Just the same, Iran's supreme leader this week said that, that Israel should cease to exist, that its leaders are subhuman. These are not moderate positions. These are extreme positions. And I think it's a mistake for our State Department to negotiate with them without understanding that they remain radical. They remain convinced that Israel is the little Satan, the United States is the great Satan. And their attempt to acquire nuclear weapons capability is extraordinarily dangerous. And we've got to do everything we can to prevent it. Senator, another diplomacy issue abroad uh, that you've weighed in on, the Afghan government, an allegation that President Obama had agreed to write a letter of apology as part of moving forward there. Uh, that has then been denied uh, by Susan Rice, the national security advisor. She says that that's not going to happen. Your thoughts? Well, I, I think we need, our foreign policy needs to consistently defend U.S. interests. And, and, and I think it is a mistake for the administration to be too quick to apologize. And to the extent they are not doing so here, that's the right thing. But, but, but I think the pattern of giving repeated apologies has not been a good one for America. Where do you see a pattern of apologies? Well, we, we, we saw it beginning at the, the very outset of the administration when the president went on, on a tour a, across the world apologizing to different nations for American foreign policy interests. And, and, and I think that was insufficiently recognizing the incredible uh, blood and treasure and sacrifice that, that America has given for, for the freedom of, of countries throughout this world.